All right, I'm just enjoying a little uh, Bing Hong Cha, which is red iced tea. Pretty good stuff, actually. Just kind of hanging out to, uh, here in front of a little Pojai, which is like a little mom and pop shop. And, you know, they got little drinks, little snacks, uh, just a little bit of everything you could want. So, yeah, this is the uh, real man's China. Today I don't have any real destination in mind. I'm just gonna set out and uh, see what I can find today. A little uh, urban exploration, as it were. There's a guy uh, taking down his laundry off the side of a pole. Oh. My apologies, that was a lady. Sometimes it's hard to tell. No. Now, I don't know if you saw that lady squatting there. Uh, she saw me coming, kind of hiked up her drawers real quick, but she was actually taking a pee right there on the side of the sidewalk. Welcome to China. Because they don't have dryers in China, you're gonna see a laundry uh, virtually anywhere they can hang it. Um, I'm just gonna use this as an example. Right here in between two buildings, laundry. So, now, in America, if you hung the laundry out like that, I'd be worried someone would steal it. But here, no one's gonna touch it. It's your laundry, why would they? So, and I kinda appreciate that honesty that uh, most people in China have. All right, I found a pharmacy here. So, very atypical. So, you got some modern stuff and they got some traditional herbs and other things to help you um even a little scale here so uh, i think it's in kilograms let's see how much i weigh uh, apparently i weigh more than it uh, can register Well, traditional uh, Chinese eatery here. You know it's good if they got the big urn out in front. So, on bicycles. You see some dudes in Jordan or Rice there. A little bit of a jaunt, though. So. See the buildings there in the country in the backside because I'm kind of getting out in the boondocks. And yet, there's still furniture stores. So, seems I guess I can't be too far off the beaten trail. Ooh, check out this Amish, rustic looking picnic table. Yours for only 200 kwai. So, oh, this is awesome. Check out the finger chair. I wonder how much the finger chair is. Let's go find out. Here's your typical Chinese furniture store. Got some nice stuff and apparently some bush benches for sale. Ah, yes. You ever want to wonder what Chinese TV looks like? It looks like English TV, but it's in Chinese. Iga Do Sha Chen. Our bike quai? So it's about 200 quai, so about 30 bucks. Okay, so I just called the wife. I kind of thought it'd be kind of a cool thing to get on video, you know, buying the chair and uh, coming home with a cool palm chair. And the wife says, that's hideous. Don't touch it. So looks like we're not buying it. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, yes, I can come to China, but where am I gonna buy large traffic cones when I get there? Well, right here, of course. Large traffic cones. Yours for the amazingly low price of 10 kwai a pop. Well, that's less than two bucks. So I found another little bike shop here and guys just working away. See mom in the back there with the naked baby, of course. So, that's uh, very typical also of China. The kids usually won't wear pants until they're probably uh, two or three years old. 
And when they do, they wear these little split pants, a little opening in the crotch. So when they gotta go, they'll just stop, take a pee right there. So, and it's mainly because diapers really haven't caught on over here until just the last couple of years. Most of the time, people figure, you know, the kid has to go, just let them go wherever. So, and most people don't think a thing of it. So, well, everywhere I go, if I stop for very long, I'll get a bunch of kids kind of gather around me because. One, they don't get to see foreigners that much, and they like an excuse to practice their English. Usually simple stuff, you know, hello, how are you, what you doing, and this sort of stuff. So, and the older kids so much. Hello. Uh, hello. Well, sometimes they want to practice their English too. <laughs> hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Say, I am fine. Xiao Wu Hao. Good afternoon. Very good. Uh, here's my newfound friends. That little boy's been following me now for uh, several blocks. Every now and then he'll get just close enough and say, Oh, hello. Hee -hee -hee. Oh, hello. Hee -hee. What? Where are you from? I'm from America. Where, where are you from? I'm from China. You're from China? Yes. Really? Jinda? Yes. <laughs> These really are sweet kids. They're probably going to end up following me for uh, a few blocks and then they'll turn around and go back home. So, they just are curious, want to get to know the foreigner. Want to We got a whole family on this motorcycle here. Got dad, mom, uh, big brother, and little brother all on the motorcycle. And that's the family car right there. So I'm gonna go into a uh, Chinese convenience store. So, it's much like the convenience stores we have back in America, um, the only difference is there's not a lot of convenience goods, so they do offer a lot of toilet paper and shampoos. Apparently they offer panties and, oh yeah, wine. Yep, they offer wine. So you know this is a very up class convenience store when they offer wine and panties. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this look into the everyday China, uh, and we'll see you next time. Stay frosty. Guess it's time to feed CD. This. That's it.